Hey, it's Norm from Tesla.com, and for today's show and tell, I'm once again joined by Sean Charlesworth. Glad to be back. Sean, well, here Sean. for your inventor and project, working with Adam on a secret project, but also bring some really cool things. You have an amazing collection of just awesome I like, things. I like cool toys, yeah. yeah well, old, old mechanical stuff. We're all yeah. cut from the same cloth. So what do we have today? Today, I have brought in the Nagra SN Spy Recorder. Nagra SN means nothing to me. Spy Recorder sounds amazing. Yes. So let's let's give you a show. So here it is. Wow. So let me let me give you a little story. So so Kuldelsky, uh is a Swiss company, founded uh, like 1951 by a Polish guy, Stefan Kudelski, and he he, uh, he started this Nagra sound recording company. So Nagra, I believe, in Polish means will record. Okay. Okay. So Nagras were like the industry standard for film and TV production for to record your audio for many, many, many years. Uh, so they'd make a deck like this big that used 12D batteries to run, and they use seven inch, quarter inch uh, reel to reel tape, and they're they're just indestructible, have really high sound fidelity, and and are great, just beautiful machines, like beautifully made. Uh, so this, the SN or Siri Noir. I think, which is Black Series, um, <laughs> was introduced in 1971. Uh, this is still Cold War. Yeah. Now, World now War. technically, this was introduced to the consumer in 1971. The story goes that about 10 years previous to that, so you're like early 60s, uh, Nagar was commissioned by the CIA to produce recorders for them that could be easily concealed and and for that for that day this was very concealable i mean it's about the size of a paperback novel mm -hmm. and you uh, could put this in a could, book you could put yeah you could put this in your in a book in your coat and and real, relatively easily and um, so the story is that they were developed originally for for clandestine operations and then introduced to the public later Okay. And so who bought these when it was in 1971? <clears throat> 1971, uh, they were a lot, used a lot by journalists um, because uh, you know, you, as as we did, you know, our stereo belt article, there was like not that many portable mm -hmm. uh, recording options. So used by like uh, uh, journalists and stuff like that, anything that you needed to be portable. Um, so and they did various versions. So so my particular version is the SNS, which is a half track recorder. So think of a cassette tape. Mm -hmm. uh, you you record in a cassette tape, flip, flip it over. Around. It uses the same size. It's an eighth inch tape. And then they also made the SNN, which was a full track recorder. So it had higher fidelity. Mm -hmm. um, and then they made the deluxe, super deluxe, which was the SNST, which was the stereo version. Wow. And then they even, re the, the most prized is the SNSTR, which was the hi fi stereo version. And all fit in the same package? All fit in the same package. They look virtually identical, but you the heads would differ and, yeah. and some of the electronics inside. So it has a, uh, an erase head, a record head, and a playback head. Okay. And so, you know, when you had this stereo model, you could do some really nice, like, you know, go to a show and, and get some good bootlegs, you know. This is just nicely machined. It's beautiful. And that's yes. that's part of what I love about it. Like, just every little knob and detail and lever is just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, made. I'm looking at these edges here and this lid. Yeah, and, and then, then, and then, then the they did stuff like you had, oh my goodness. you had like the whole little operation diagram inside and, and even the, the reels are made out, uh, some of the reels are even made out of brushed aluminum. They're just absolutely gorgeous. How long could you make a recording for? Um, you know, I don't, I don't know, I don't remember off the top of my head how, how long these run because uh, there's different speeds you can set them at. Mm -hmm. So you get different recording, but I believe one reel will run you at least 20 minutes. Kids don't know recording. these days. Yeah. With, like with cassette tapes and VHS, you can record at lower qualities and get longer recordings. Exactly. And and um, it's just, it, it's automatic level control. It does have a little gauge, but it will automatically set the levels for you. There's a variety of microphones that you could plug in on this. Uh, this is just a little lavalier uh, mic that you could get for it. And, um, and a headphone jack right here? It has a headphone jack over here, and then you could also have various different uh, accessories that plugged in as well. And the whole thing will operate with the cover on and has little windows so you can see how much tape you have left and read the, wow. the meter. So uh, basically, uh, I'll fire it up here. Oh, it works! Oh, yeah. You can actually record on this uh, unit. We can record on this unit. It's recording right now. Uh, <laughs> wow. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a built-in loudspeaker, so you'd have to use headphones, or Adam has one of these, and he's lucky to have the playback unit, which is this oh. beautiful device that has a loudspeaker on it. Um, and, and you could record, and you can monitor while you're recording because it has the playback head on it. 
And then when you're done, you could flip it over and record on the other half track on, mm -hmm. on my particular model. Um, now, it gets really fun when, whenever you want to then uh, rewind with this, you would unthread it. So oh, it's a manual. Actually, I can, I, can, I can demonstrate without having to unthread it, but it basically there's a, a rewind position, and then I love this. This pops open. And mm -hmm. tool a little. <laughs> there it goes. And then you basically hand crank this. Hand crank rewind. Yeah, hand crank rewind. Till it's taut. Yeah. Oh boy. And then you just fold it down and it pops back in the This place. is in great condition too. It's it's a really, really, really I was really lucky to find one in this good. Oh my condition. gosh. It's the kind of thing that you would see in like a 70s, 60s spy film. Yeah. An up close shot of it spinning and then a bunch of dudes in suits smoking cigars yeah. listening to the tape. You still see these show up in, in movies all the time. Like uh, yeah. one of my favorites is uh, it's an oddball, but Lemony Snicket's. Okay. The, he's got this really weird car, and his dashboard audio deck is is one of these mounted into the, the dashboard. Uh, but you'll see them all the time. Um, wow. They're a great little recorder. They do show up on eBay, but they're kind of they they go quick and they're expensive. Yeah. My recommendation: the one thing you want to look out for is the the pinch roller here is rubber, and they dry rot. Okay. So that's if you're looking at pictures of them. Be, be is it something you can repair? There are spare you parts can, for. You can get spare parts, but the, I think the pinch roller is like hundred and twenty-five dollars still. Yeah, it's from Nagra. A but, vintage spy recorder. Yeah, vintage spy recorder. All sorts of awesome things. Thank you so much, Sean. Absolutely. And this is like not even the coolest thing you've brought for <laughs> for your inventor and ship here. You guys won't believe what he's been working with Adam on. Check that out in the future. More show and tells on test.com. I'm Norm. Thanks again, Sean. Thank you. We'll see you guys next time.